Prosecutors say the abuse went on for years. Let's get right out to WBZ's Christina Hager, who has the breaking details. Christina? Well, Paula, Pat Rose looked like he was cowering in court here. He had two gloved hands covering his masked face. And the accusations against him are frankly so disturbing, we really can't get into them at length. We can tell you he is accused of indecent assault on a child between 7 and 12 years old. State police arrested Rose last night in a parking lot in Needham. And what makes this possibly even more disturbing is the fact that he held leadership positions in this city. He was the president of the Boston Police Patrolmen's Association for four years and is a retired Boston police officer whose career spanned more than 25 years. Investigators say the abuse happened at his home over a period of several years and also happened once at a drive-in movie theater. The defendant left his home 11 days ago, the family home, after this disclosure came out. He told his family um, he was going to be inpatient in a facility in Arlington. And he asked his family on occasion if anyone was looking for him and that he needed to turn off his phone. He asked and obtained the deed to his car. And from, it seems, from FaceTime conversations he had with family members, he may have been staying in a hotel. And when state police tried to track him down to arrest him, and they pinged his phone, they were able to locate him in a par parking lot in Needham. These are incredibly serious allegations uh, of anyone. But when it is somebody who is sworn to protect us and has, um, you know, has the ability to interact with not only his family but the community. Uh, we take this incredibly seriously. That was District Attorney Rachel Rollins who explained that Rose's past uh, employment with Boston Police makes it inappropriate for detectives there to handle this investigation. That's why it was handed over to state police. Rose being held on $100,000 cash bail. The judge ordered him to stay away from the victim, surrender all his firearms, his gun license, his passport, and he is due back in court here next month. In West Roxbury, Christina Hager, WBC News.